and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this week I am not on screen, fancy just kind of kicking back a little bit and uh, just showing you the cards really, showing you what, a, what, what your spread looks like. We're going to be doing um, a, I'll tell you the spread that we're doing this week and I'll show you the cards obviously as well. So firstly, uh, the cards that we're using this week are the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Uh, this is the one that I usually use for my clients. But you'll see that when I use this, I actually cut it down. I trimmed it. I'm one of those readers that watches all the trimming videos of cards and all of the edging and stuff. So I trimmed it and edged it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I only did it, actually, because I've got a second backup deck of this that hasn't been opened. So I thought, hey-ho. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use, probably for the first reading, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. I just love these cards. I've had these, like, a couple of years, never really used them. Uh, two, three years, I think, along with the, the other deck of his, the one in the blue box. And I never used them. Started using them, and they are incredible. So we're going to use those. And any clarifiers, any clarification we might need, guys, we will use the uh, the small radiant rider weight tarot in a tin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your week ahead reading. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot Readings from Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your week ahead reading. We are going from the 23rd of February, which is Sunday, through to the 29th of February, which is next Saturday. So, uh, as you can see, I'm not on screen this week. I think it's good just to kind of change it up a bit. Sometimes I'm on screen, sometimes I'm just showing the cards. It's just to be fair. Some people like seeing the cards, some people like seeing, you know, the reader on screen. So I'm just trying to change it up a little bit uh, this week. And also it gives me a break where I just kick back and really enjoy just looking at those cards along with you guys. So for the reading, if you've looked at the, you know, what cards I'm using, we're using the John Holland um, Psychic Tower of the Heart. It's a kind of tarot oracle deck. I thought that we would use this just to have a look at what the general energies are, what the messages are for the weak Cancerians, okay. Okay, Cancerians, let's have a look at what the message is for you this week. And I always go to the bottom of the deck on this particular reading here to see what the... Um, there we go. Right, so for the week, the advice is... Let's move this over a little bit, actually. Um, because we want to see uh, what's going on at the bottom of the deck. There we go. There we are. Right. So uh, this is this week. It's all about healing. This week, uh, Cancerians, and when we talk about healing, it can be any type of healing. It can be mental healing physical healing i don't really do health readings i don't believe in doing health readings like but you know bodily aches and uh, you know um literally bodily illnesses and i don't believe in it as a reader some readers do it i don't i don't really like it but um in terms of healing any type of healing that you're thinking of right now the focus this week is all about healing for you guys this can be healing of a family rift healing of a friend you know a family uh, a friendship that's kind of um um being destroyed over a period of time you might have fallen out with someone um uh, cancerians uh this may be some of you guys have been going through depression or anxiety i certainly know how that feels i've been through that plenty of time through my life uh but healing it's healing of all those energies let's have a look at what's going on um this showed up for scorpio i think that some of you guys need to focus on coming together with others because this is the coming together card so when you get the coming together card it's about coming together with friends coming together with family coming together with colleagues if you want to maybe some of you guys don't want to i don't know but you know i feel that one a, a really significant step i'm trying to move these cards around because i'm trying to get them to be straighter on the de on the um on the actual desk uh i've, I've changed my camera around um Okay, I think that, that will do, because I want to move this up a little bit so we have a picture of that properly in there. Yeah, um, uh, so coming together, and I know that one as well, that when we're needing to heal, whatever the type of healing we need, uh, one thing that can definitely aid that is coming together with others, getting together with others, talking with others, convening with others, uh, sharing, you know, different perspectives different experiences with others with the coming together card here cancerians i think coming together with others can definitely help you move and transition from wherever you are now cancerians if this is kind of 
connecting with you into another sphere because this is about moving on. It's like the Six of Swords in the tarot, coming together with others, talking with others, sharing a share, a problem shared is a problem halved, that type of thing, can definitely put you on the, you know, on the road to recovery, it can definitely put you in the right direction with the moving on card showing here, uh, and you definitely need to take some time to rest and reconsider as well, perhaps moving on from a situation as well, I think coming together with others is going to help point you in the right direction, and I do feel some of you guys need to rest and reconsider, okay, perhaps you need to rest and reconsider moving on from someone here, or maybe this is joining up with this one, let's have a look at this, rest and reconsider, sadness and isolation, I do think that some of you guys have been feeling, and that's what we were saying, that, you know, the week, the focus needs to be on healing, because some of you guys have been feeling sad and isolated, showing here, with the sadness and the isolation card, you've been feeling really sad and isolated, showing here, and it's time to take a little bit of a rest, you know, time to withdraw a little bit, like the hermit would, from the world, world, and just reconsider maybe what your options are, I don't think it's resting and reconsidering moving on from something, I think it's resting and reconsidering what your options are, in the light of feeling probably quite sad and isolated, all right, because it's a week for healing from that, and I feel that probably being amongst other people as well, to a certain extent, could help you to find find your way and find the, the, the right direction. Let's have a look at the next one here. You need to believe that you'll succeed as well, all right? So if you rest and reconsider what your options are, despite feeling sad and isolated, if you can rest and reconsider what your options are, I actually feel that in the end, this is not only going to enable you to move on from this, especially when it comes to getting together with others. You know, if you can take time to get together with others as well, there's two things. I don't think I'm explaining myself very well on this reading, to be honest with you. We'll start again. There's two things here. The two things that I'm noticing firstly is how you overcome the sadness and isolation that some of you guys feel. All right, how do you move on from that sadness and isolation? Well, the one thing that you need to do for some of you, not for all, but for some of you, is find time to get together with other people. That's family, that's friends, that's the people that really mean stuff to you, you know? People who can really kind of surround you with love and uh, care and nurturing and that type of thing. The other thing for some of you guys will be to take a little bit of time out for yourself to consider what your options are. The other thing that you need to kind of focus on this week is believing that you're going to succeed the overcoming of this sadness and isolation this week. Let's have a look at the next one. Love. Okay, get together with the people that you love. All right, because it's all about the love. So come together with the people that you love. All right, because these people will help you to move on from the sadness and isolation. So some of you guys can sit and spend a lot of time on your own, probably. You may spend a lot of time on your own. Some of you guys actually may be practical hermits. I did say be a bit hermitized, but if you are already a hermit, you probably want to get out there a little bit more. Because some of you guys, you have been feeling very sad and isolated. Okay. Um, and we need to find a way to kind of move you out of that. Well, coming together with the people that you love can be one way to do that. Resting and reconsidering what your options are, but also resting and reconsidering, okay, that you can consider, you know, that you can succeed in this. Look at what your options are. What are the ways that you can move out of that sadness and isolation and believe that you'll succeed? Let's have a look at the next one here. You need to take the lead. So basically, you really need to take charge. And that's what I've been getting in these readings so far. I had it for Scorpio. There's no time to sit back on your laurels. You really have to take charge. If you want things to change, if you want to make things happen, you have to make them happen. And the way that you make them happen is by taking charge, by just going out there and doing it. Simple as that. There you go. What did I say? It's time to spread your wings. This might apply to everyone. Some of you guys are absolutely, you know, in a fantastic place in your life. You've got loads of friends, loads of family. You just come to see what's going down. That's fine. But this is, you know, this is really kind of connecting with those of you who have been feeling sadness and isolate, sadness and isolation. A lot of it will be because of fear for some reason, or you just don't know how to make friends, or you just don't know how to get yourself out there. But the universe is saying, look, you are, and this is really where the starting point is of the reading. That's where everything starts from, Cancerians, is sadness and isolation. It is the feeling of sadness and isolation for some of you guys. That's where it starts. All right, so the universe is saying, well, look, if you've been feeling sadness and isolated for a time, Number one, you need to believe that this will change with the believe and succeed and moving on. So you need to believe 
uh, believe and succeed that this will change with the moving on card. All right. You perhaps need to take a step back and kind of take a bit of a rest and sit down and consider, well, what are my options? How am I going to move out of this energy showing here? Well, the universe says, well, one of the ways that you can do it is just by coming together with the people that you love. That's one way that you can do that. If you've been feeling isolated, why don't you go and see your family? Why don't you go and see your friends? Why don't you go and see, you know, people that you probably haven't seen in a long time? All right. The other thing that you've got to do in order to kind of move out of this energy here, Cancerians, you really need to start taking the lead. Spread your wings. Do something that you've not done before. Do something that scares you. You know, do something that you've just not, that you've wanted to do for a long time, but you've just not had the courage to do. Move. Keeps coming up with it. See, moving on, move. Spread your wings and move. The messages can't be much clearer than that. It's a week for healing, but what are we healing, Cancerians? We're healing your sadness and isolation. That's what we're healing. And the universe keeps saying to you, it's time to move on from the sadness and isolation here. Believe that you can do it. Believe and succeed. Take a step back and consider what your options are. How do you move out of this energy? Come together with the people that you love, but you must take the lead. All right, You must take charge. Take the lead. Spread your wings. Do things that you've not done before. Whatever you do, make sure that you move. Make sure that you get up and you move. Just breathe. And I think what it's saying is, is that if you're feeling scared, that's what I think it's saying, if you're feeling scared, just take a few deep breaths and then spread your wings. It reminds me very much, this reading does in a way, Cancerians, of the Fool card. You know how he's on that kind of mountain top and he's about to just take a leap off the mountain. This reminds me of this. Because the Fool is all about that. The Fool is about spreading your wings. Whenever you think to yourself, oh my goodness, I can't do it. Because being isolated for an amount of time, being stuck in a certain place for a certain amount of time... It doesn't really motivate you to do anything. You start doing this kind of self-talk where you're saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm not good enough, or I'm going to make a mess of it, or I'm going to get it wrong, or it's going to fail. But the universe is saying, well, no. You're feeling like this, but you need to start considering how you move out of this. You need to believe that you can move out of this. But before you can do that, or before you can actually, it's one thing to believe it, but it's another thing to do it. So what you need to do first is maybe you need to start coming together with people that you love. Maybe these very people can give you the confidence that you need. You then need to start taking charge. And the way that you take charge of your own life is by spreading your wings. It's a bit of a scary move. But if you do get scared about that move, all you need to do is simply breathe. Just take a few steps back and breathe. And then take the leap. Okay, take the leap into something new because you've got take the lead, spread your wings, moving on, move, you know. So all of these cards here, moving on, take the lead, spread your wings, those cards here and move, those four cards are telling you to take action. So this week it's a week for action. And then you've got to believe that you can take the action here. But in order to believe that you can take the action, Cancer, and some of you guys want to just come together with the people that you love. See if they can give you some advice. See if they can give you the encouragement that you need. And any time that you feel sad or isolated or alone, and you're kind of like, oh man, I can't do it. Just take a step back and breathe. Take a few deep breaths. And then get ready for launch. And that's how we start to heal. All right, my darling, I'm going to come back with your work reading. Bear with me. Okay, guys, for those of you who know the Enchanted Tarot, you'll see that the Everyday Enchanted Tarot, you'll see that I've cut this deck down. I trimmed it and I edged it absolutely phenomenal. I love the way it looks now. Um, this week in work, the Four of Swords energy. I mean, some of you guys might be a taking a break from work this week, Four of Swords, because Four of Swords is all about taking a break. Some of you guys might be taking a break to consider your position in work, Four of Swords energy. Oh, nice. You've got the King of Coins energy here. I just see you taking a break from the hard work and the toil in terms of work. I'm also seeing perhaps something being resolved in work. 
and the achievement of something. Because you, the king of coins in a work reading means that you achieve things. Because he's worked hard until he's achieved this. All right. And the four of swords can be finally a resolution and achievement showing here. Four of swords energy showing here. All right. Some of you guys may be contemplating your position in the workplace. Contemplation being the four of swords. Position being the king of coins energy showing here. All right. Some of you guys might be taking a break after the hard work that you've put into a situation. Taking a break here. Reaping the rewards as well. Because this is reaping the rewards. The lovers. Lovers in a work reading means choice. Some of you guys may be looking to take a break, making a choice to take a break. Some of you guys have actually, with that King of Coins, reached the top of your job, reached the top of your, you know, some of you guys may be feeling with that King of Coins, I've gone as far as I can go in the work that I'm doing. Because the King of Coins would be at the top of his profession, you see. And it may be with the lover's energy, you're making a choice to take a break, to withdraw. Some of you guys may be saying, you know what, I've gone as far as I can go in the job, the King of Coins. And the King of Coins doesn't always mean, like, it does often mean the top position but sometimes you know you can be a king when you've reached as when you've gone as far as you can go in the job because if you're a queen there's more to do so if you're a queen in a reading in a work reading there's more work to do but if you're a king you're at the top you've achieved everything so whatever that is for you some of you guys have achieved everything that you've done in your work and you're making a choice you've made a choice this week you know what maybe i need to step back i've done everything that i can do some of you guys have reached retirement and you may be making a choice to kind of you know, you're at that age and you say, I've made a choice now that I'm going to take retirement. Because the Four of Swords can mean retirement as well. Retiring from a job. Some of you guys making a choice to do that. Yeah, and take it easy. So I do think some of you guys are probably choosing to take, whether it's retirement, and it could definitely be retirement. Because the uh, Nine of Coins is the card about the ladies that lunch. So this would definitely be an older woman, probably, or an older guy, whoever, taking a bit of a break. Some of you guys making a choice to take, you know to, uh, what's the word, to retire, Four of Swords is retiring, to retire from your job, you've been there a long time, some of you guys, and take a bit of a break, if it's not retirement, you're probably just saying, you know what, actually, I'm going to take a bit of a break from the work that I'm doing, and I'm going to take it easy, if it's not kind of anything as serious or as big as that concerns, and some of you guys probably just making a decision to take a break from the job, maybe you're just, good to, you know, going to go on holiday or something like that with the Nine of Coins energy showing here. Uh, King of Swords. Okay. I'm seeing uh, some authority figures around you guys in communication because the lovers is ruled by Mercury. So Gemini. Is it Mercury? I think it's Mercury. I'm not sure. I know it's ruled by Gemini for sure. It might be Mercury. I know that Mercury is one of Ge Gemini's ruling planets. But this can be communication as well. Some of you guys may be considering or you may be having some communication. Maybe you're considering communicating. Maybe there's a communication here. I'm seeing communication with two people in authority this week. Possibly considering taking a step back from your job or kind of taking retirement. So communication lovers, two authority figures this week for some of you. Cancerians, the King of Coins and the King of Pentacles. Sorry, King of Swords, King of Pentacles here. Uh, you're talking about, you're considering Four of Swords, just taking a step back. You know, both cards can be taking a step back out of work. Or retirement. Uh, two of Cups. I'm just getting like discussions, agreements. Two of Cups energy showing here. Okay. I think that you're going to be discussing doing something new. Or there could be a new partnership on the horizon for some of you guys here. Or you're discussing a new project perhaps showing up here. Uh, yeah, Three of Coins. I'm seeing the discussion I know about a new project within work for some of you guys as well. Uh, something that you want to nurture here. Something that you're wanting to nurture with the Empress energy here. Uh, eight of coins energy so we've got the eight of coins eight of coins is all about a project so you're kind of nurturing a new project here i'm seeing the nurturing of a new project because all the creating of a new project because the eight of coins is a project and the empress is about creating something here or giving birth to a new project so i'm seeing lots of discussions about new things coming in this week and you've got a couple of threes haven't we have we got a couple of threes well we've got the empress and the three of coins energy and threes mean creativity within a reading we've got a couple of authority figures here as well all right and we've got discussion cards as well the two of cups can be a discussion and the lovers so i'm seeing discussions with some very important people some of you guys it may be about taking a step back from your position or taking a step back from work there may be uh, things that you're discussing in terms of retirement that type of thing i'm also though uh, i've also got kind of partnering up 
talking about new projects, um, Three of Coins energy showing they're working within a group to create, creating some new projects, new work, new um, um, uh, new products, for example, because the page, the um, Eight of Coins is also services. So you're creating a new service. So some of you guys are having a discussing, a discussion about a new project, a new project, the Eight of Wands energy, working with a group of people to create a service. So I'm seeing services being created here within a group. So you're discussing uh, new services this week as well and how you create that. Very interesting. We'll do this one more time. In terms of work, Cancerians, the ethos of work this week for you, Cancerians, it's all about communication this week. Okay, I'm seeing, seeing two different types of communication happening this week. Firstly, what I'm seeing is some of you guys are discussing the lover's energy. You're making a choice. You're discussing a couple of people in power here about taking a step back, withdrawing from your job, probably retirement for some of you guys with the nine of coins or maybe going on holiday or something like that. And some of you guys, I'm seeing you discussing a new project, Ace of Wands Energy. Some of you guys might be discussing starting a new project by April, working within a group to create a new service, create services. So I'm seeing some pretty high level discussions taking place for some of you guys, either stepping back from work or either you're starting to create some services with others. Very interesting. Or working on new projects with others. Very interesting this week. All right, I'm going to come back with your love reading. Bear with me. Okay, Cancerians, let's have a look at the love reading then. What have we got going on in love? Uh, the King of Wands. So there's a person around you here, a King of Wands. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, the hanged man. Okay. Um, I feel that this person showing up around you uh, in terms of love, I feel that this person's put a, a hold on the relationship. I think that this person may be in a little bit of a, what's the word, in suspense or because the hanged man in a love reading is where the relationship is put on hold. Or there may be somebody who's switched their position or who's changed their mind with that hanged man energy showing there. I think it's unexpected as well. So there could be somebody who's changing their position in the relationship quite unexpectedly with that Wheel of Fortune energy showing there. Uh, the Ten of Cups energy. So the Ten of Cups, let's have a look at the next one. And the Chariot. All right. So um, I'm thinking a couple of things here. I think somebody's probably changing their position because for me, the hangman is about a change of position. He's upside down. Right, so we've got a king of wands and I, I just feel that there's somebody around you who's changed their position. And I think with the Wheel of Fortune, it's been very, very unexpected this week, all right? Uh, the Ten of Cups, now the Ten of Cups is, but you know, the Ten of Cups is ruled by Pisces, all right? Now Pisces, one of the ruling planets is Neptune. And it's funny because these two cards, both ruled by Neptune, except in this instance, I think that this person changes their position unexpectedly. And I feel that they're putting on an illusion. I think this Ten of Cups is, because I don't think that, it depends. Have they changed their position unexpectedly? Do they now want to move ahead with the relationship, the Ten of Cups? Or is it all an illusion that they want to move ahead with that Ten of Cups? Because this can be an illusion card as well, because it's ruled by Neptune. The planet of kind of dreams and fantasy and that type of thing. Three of coins. So three of coins is working together, progress in a relationship. Uh, the eight of coins putting the work in. Okay. Uh, the nine of wands. I think it's a bit of a chore with that nine. But the nine of wands in a love relationship means to keep on going. But it can be a bit of a chore. Let's have a look. No, I think it's a chore, and I think that this person may be reconsidering reviewing uh, Page of Wands energy, whether they want to, you know, whether they want to Page of Wands, so whether they want to carry on having fun, or do they want to carry on kind of exploring the relationship. The Page of Wands in a love reading, this is about doing things together, going out and enjoying each other, just exploring the terrain of the relationship, having a bit of fun. I actually feel that this person... Um, is putting on an illusion. I think this is an illusion. The Ten of Cups can definitely be the illusion card. Cancerians. I think they've changed their position. I think this person will have changed their position this week. And I think it's going to be unexpected. Okay. Unexpectedly changes their position. Which to me is well with that Wheel of Fortune. They seem to do it all the time. Because the Wheel of Fortune is round and round in circles. So this person is probably again changed their position. 
I think they're putting on an illusion with that 10 that they want to move forward in the relationship. They want to take it to another level. You know, they're working together as a team, putting the effort in. But I feel that this is becoming a chore with that nine of wands energy. And I feel that they'll actually, this is either you or them. They'll take a step back to review or you will start taking a step back to review whether you want to carry on exploring the potential of the relationship, one or the other. Let's have a quick look at what the advice is for the week then, Cancerians. Universe Spirit, what advice do you have through the Oracle of the Fairies? Sorry, I didn't mention that I'm using Oracle of the Fairies for your advice this week. What is the advice through the Oracle of the Fairies for Cancerians this week, show me? Right, two cards came out together. That's interesting. So the first card says, the writing so small on these, wait for winter. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes um as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all and then come together says uh fairies like to be busy and a group of them uh, is showing you that many hands make light work so working as a team helps get the job done all right that's your reading for the week my darlings i'd like to say cancerians thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe if you like your own private reading click on the link below to my website go through and order one or in the link at the end of the reading all right take care bye bye